Okay, we're going to talk about how to save things that you find from O'Reilly that you want to go back to at a later time. So I did a search on machine learning here, and I'll limit that over here to books. I'll just click on books. Let's say I'm looking for books on machine learning. And what I'm going to do is, it's really pretty simple. You add it to a playlist. You add that to a playlist there. And which playlist would you like to add designing machine learning systems to? So. I currently have a playlist for Python. I could create a new playlist here. And you don't have to do that. You could just you could just add it. And then I will grab some others here. I'll put this one in my playlist. I'll put this in the machine learning playlist. Done. And then later, if you go here to my O'Reilly and you go to your playlists, you can see the different playlists there. And I'll go into this one and you'll see there's there's two books there. And that's really all you have to do. You don't have to create your own profile in here. Like generally speaking with other databases that have this type of a feature like a ProQuest or an EBSCO database, you would have to create a personalized profile and then you'd have then you'd save it and you'd log on within the database. This O'Reilly how it how it works is whatever computer you're on it knows that you're you that this is this machine using our subscription to O'Reilly and you just go to your profile from there. And uh it so you don't have to create you don't have to create your own login or your own profile or anything like that. Uh it it just knows on your computer and then that's that's all that you do. So it's a kind of an interesting, different kind of a take on a, on a personalized folder. It, it just knows you don't have to create anything special. So that's how you save things to playlists in O'Reilly.